Now, next I want to talk about some other happenings. And these are the political happenings that are happening. Now, I know what you're saying. You said, Gabe, wait a second. We, we weren't supposed to have political happenings. Yes, I know. I said the rules of the happening is apolitical. However, if you'll remember, I also said the rules are made to be broken, right? Now, this structure framework of these flash mobs, these happenings, actually lend themselves very well for peaceful demonstrations. In fact, if you look at Belarus Minsk on Saturday, May 13th in 2006, you would have seen quite a strange occurrence happening. It was as if everybody all of a sudden was eating ice cream and smiling at police, right? How weird is that? Yes, in fact, the, um, what basically happened is that the students, they gathered to create this happening in order to test the boundaries of an authoritarian state of the former Soviet bloc in Belarus. So they gathered in peaceful demonstration of smiles and ice cream. And, you know, thinking, hey, why can't we at least gather to eat ice cream or gather to, you know, smile at the police? And, you know, unfortunately, um, not even that was allowed because they got arrested exactly for that. So anybody who was walking around, you know, eating ice cream or smiling at police was arrested. Now, you may think to yourself, oh, that's crazy. However, we have also seen in just the last two years a number of free countries that were essentially doing the same thing to people who were protesting the fact that they couldn't get together under various restrictions for health and safety or what have you. So this is something that demonstrators and uh, uh, resistance workers or whatever, you rebels with a cause, you can use this framework of these happenings. You just forget that little political thing and you can see all kinds of examples of these political happenings popping up and happening all over the world. And, you know, it, you might think, yeah, Gabe, that's just like a one-off instance, but there's these incredible movements that have come out of creating these happening structures that create a life of their own. One example is the critical mass uh, bicycle culture, uh, critical mass ride. And this is a bicycle event that is typically held on the last Friday of every month in over 300 cities worldwide. Now it's a leaderless organization and basically what people do is they get together Hundreds of people get together on their bikes, sometimes rollerblades or even unicycles, and they ride through the city together. And it's one giant peloton, as they say, at the Tour de France, right? It's just one giant group of cyclists, you know, with all these lights and stuff, riding through the city together. And it is really quite spectacular, quite amazing. If you've never joined in one, see if there's a critical mass in a city near you, which you can go join. Now, here we see again, it looks as spontaneous as possible, it's short in duration, you know, free from mass consumption, free, it's focused on mass spontaneous participation, the location doesn't matter. Everything, all of these boxes are ticked, ticked except for political, right? So, do we say it's not a happening? Well, I say, hey, eight out of nine ain't bad, right? Right? So what I want you to do is I want you to watch this next little video that explains a little bit more about these critical mass rides that you will see going on throughout maybe in a city near you.